Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on what is fishing. Well, yes, this is fishing, quite enjoyable, but that's not the kind of fishing I'm talking about. Fishing is when individuals try to get your personal information by making you believe you're being contacted by a legitimate institution like your bank or PayPal or something else. So you get an email like this, account alert. Dear Michael, we here at Volunteer State Bank are always looking out for your security. We had a problem. I want to make sure your account is current. Sign into your account and check your balance. And they provide you with a handy link to the bank. We'll come back to the link. So you click the link. You go here to what looks like Volunteer State Bank. But think about how easy it is for someone knowledgeable in computers to grab this logo, this text, these colors, and duplicate this page, which is what phishing people do. They grab this, and in point of fact, when you click on this link, it doesn't take you to Volunteer State Bank. It's taking you to some site that they've created to look like the bank or like PayPal. I put in butterscotch.com just to show you that because a link says it's taking you to a particular place doesn't mean in fact that it is. So key rule is one, never click on links inside of emails. If any institution has a problem with your account or your payment or anything else, they will not ask you to click a link in their email. They'll ask you to call them. They'll ask you to visit the website where you type in the link to the bank or PayPal or whatever site it is. A second thing to keep in mind is that in general, legitimate companies do not ask you to give your information. They already have your contact information, they have your personal information, they have your account numbers and so on. They don't need you to refresh their memory. So if you get an email that's something like this and you're in doubt, one, don't click the link. Go to the site yourself by typing it in up here in the address bar and log into your account. Or if you're suspicious, call the institution and say, I've gotten this email. Is this from you? Is it legitimate? And it's called phishing because they're phishing to get people to just click the link that goes to a site that they've created that looks just like the institution it says it's from so that they can gather your information. That's phishing and that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.